I have urgent news. We have urgent news for you, my fellow Earthians. I just received a phone call transmission from Intergalactian Wade who called me to report on the simulation experiment going down on this. And anyway, he gives me an idea. He gives me a, he says I should be the one to talk about something that no one seems to be talking about that I didn't even know about myself. Now what he says is that they found in Russia a new version of, you know, Voldemort and you know, this version of Voldemort is more dangerous than the Voldemort circulating through America. So, honestly, this is the last thing I want to talk about, but I have to do some research on it and see what's going on. But just things that just pop up in my head is, okay, you find the first version of Voldemort in China, which is supposed to be one of our political enemies. Then you find the second version, which is worse, in Russia, which is supposed to be our political enemies, which... You know, and, and all this stuff, the Mueller investigation, all this stuff, right? So, so now, so let's just get real, like, you know, real JFK about this. Let's just get real 9-11. Let's just get real Operation Northwoods about this. So, like, okay. Now, now, because personally, you know, walking around like this and stuff, just thinking, like, yo, what's going on? Like, I don't see anything, right? So, they're like, oh, okay, you don't see anything, right? Give it a second. We're going to make sure you see something soon. Like, I don't know. It was like, worst case scenario, they're trying to turn us into zombies. Well, like, you know... Worst case scenario, they're trying to turn us into zombies. I don't know. You said this before. I said this before. I said this before, yeah. I was on break and I said it. Long time ago. But the phone's on 4% of charging. is still, you know, dying. And the phone call was ready to end it. Right? You know, I was talking about the Russia and China thing I just mentioned. So, you know, hey, you know, like I said, I don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. So, let's see here. Uh, that's just crazy, though. Like, it's like, oh, just to get conspiratorial with it for a second, it's like, of course you find a new version that's worse, you know, the first one didn't work out like they wanted it to, and certain things didn't work out how they wanted it to, and they went back in the lab and plotted again, and this time they had to say they found it in another country that they could possibly use to go to war in World War III. Like, if there was to be a World War III, what countries would really be participating? Well, I guess the whole world, but, you know, it's the title, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where Zombies. You ready? Zombies. So, good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. The forest market opens today. The crypto market is still open. I just woke up an hour ago. It's 5.30. I went to bed at 10. I laid down at 10. I was listening to the greatest hits, Earth, Wind, and Fire. That shit is earth, wind, and fire. It was hot, uh, right? It's actually, I'm surprised that I'm surprised. Like, why should I be surprised? Like, but I'm like, damn, every song I pretty much was familiar with the majority of the songs I played. And even the ones I wasn't, I was familiar with them now. And like, they're, they're bangers. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get more greatest hits. I just gotta listen to greatest hits, just greatest hits. Just great assists, because like, I'm working on my great assists right now, it's just like my art and stuff, but <clears throat> just, yeah, the vibes are so peaceful, they're so peaceful. So it's straight Mamba mentality, like straight up, it's straight up Mamba mentality, like I was just watching University of Copenhagen video right before I cut it off, like, right when I came inside the house, like, I just woke up an hour ago, went outside, we can bake and get right back on, on this creative process because I have to work overtime tonight. So I'm going to have to go to sleep in like five, six hours. So I only have that last amount of time. And by me going to sleep right before midnight, I gave up the last eight hours of, of creating time by sleeping for six hours. So now I only have six hours of that 12 left from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. You know, so I did well though from 10 a.m., 11 a.m. to by 11 p.m. You had just stopped and fell, fell asleep until 4.30, 4.20. I said, I woke up at 4.20, real shit. 
So I just want to thank God that I'm still alive. And, like, that's the main reason why, like, I work so hard when it comes to, like, my spare time. Like, any spare time I have, I have to dedicate it to, to this, you know, because, like, I'm, you know, part-time with it. So I have to dedicate my full spare time to it, to amount to the full-time um, amount of work I would have made. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't a full-time artist, dude, and I have 10,000 files over 10 years, like 1,000 files a year on some part-time shit. Like, that's part-time, nigga. So if you think that's a lot, it's relative. That's what I was able to get done. That's just the amount of time I had. I did a thousand files while working, like at least 40 hours a week, you know what I'm saying? Like minimum 40 hours a week. I always had a full time fucking job, so I couldn't even do it. So on some part time independent artists just making demos, just killing that shit. These are just demos, everything is a demo. And then if I, like, you know, go back to where I came from before you know, shit pops off, then the demos are all, I left, you know, but none of this stuff was professionally made, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it didn't stop me, that wasn't my problem, you know, that was a circumstance, like, you know, shit, and stuff, making that shit, like, made me professional, like, you put me on the stage, and, like, I'm going to shut it down, like, like, good luck, like, they're going to remember me, like, I'm going to wing it, you know, like, like, and <laughs> it's not even winging it, it's like, when you're on the stage, and you're facing a crowd of people, and you don't know what the fuck you're about to say, that thrill is exhilarating, you know what I'm saying, it's like you just jumped out of an airplane, and you have the parachute, but it's in your hand, and you have to put the bag on midair. Yeah, that's some tidy shit. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's crash and burn, or win. So that's what that is. It's like, yo, I just stepped on the precipice of fate itself. I'm literally on the edge of this stage. And this crowd in front of me is actually behind me. And if I'm bad, they're going to push me off the stage. You get me? It's crazy. It's a thing I can't describe, but I just described it. Like 10 years ago, I was like 20, 21, Covington, Georgia. I was doing karaoke and I was writing songs. And this is around the time I was trying to film. It was 2012 and I was dropping my videos. I was like, I actually dropped the video for the song I was writing. I was writing the song. Um, to the Tiger and Big Sean song, I'm Gone, and I was writing that, and I was trying to perform it, and I had messed up on stage trying to perform it, like, without the lyrics, and I tried it with the lyrics, messed it up twice, they were real nice about it and shit, because, you know, it's karaoke, but I, I'm like, yo, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get this shit right real quick, yo, help me out, so, so, like, and it's like, it was fire, it's like, they liked it, and, like, there's this one lady that that lived there, or Shelly, and she lived there and, and worked there, um, as far as like um, where I live, and um, she read it and she she read the lyrics and she was like, yeah, this shit is like Eminem shit, like because yeah, the way the way I did it, like whatever. But but I was like, whoa. After that, I was like, nigga, never again. I was like, I'm going to learn how to freestyle. So this would never happen again. Fuck this. If I ever forget the lyrics on stage, they'll never know. Fuck this. They won't know. I had to tell them, hey, like, and then from then on, I started doing that, like, if I, like, if I was reciting something, and I messed up, or I, I no longer remember what, um, like, I didn't have the rest memorized, you know what I'm saying, um, I, I just let them know, it's a freestyle starting right now, and I just go, and you could tell, you could definitely tell anyway, but I just like the... It's a race. It's a race. It's like, it's, it's me figuring out what's in my mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like writing, I'm like allowing it to come out. This is just flows. Like it's just, you know. I perform 
in Syracuse one time. It was the first time I performed since the times I'm telling you about. So it was my first performance in seven years. My first performance in seven years, and I performed poetry, freestyle, a cappella. And it was the first time I really did that because th those other freestyles, they were like to music. It was like rap, right? But this was straight, all right, acapella, no beat. I'm just going to just do my own flow. And I, I did that, and, like, I was the only one to do that. Like, everyone else was reading stuff they already read before or reading something new. And, like, you know, um, you know, like, I was the only one on the stage that, like, had the, uh, the stream of consciousness. Like, my shit was, like, most effortless. It was just... It was just effortless, nigga. It's real shit. Like, I already put the effort into it. Like, I'm putting the effort into it right now. Like, I'm... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I practice so much. Like, this is just where I'm gonna go ham now. Those niggas never let me perform again. Real shit. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like real shit. That shit is crazy. <clears throat> so that was just it's nice to know. I get one chance. They gonna let me shut it down one time. That's nice to know. I can shut down the stage one time. Like so now that's just the angle I'm gonna have for now. Like, Fuck this. I'm just gonna shut. They ain't gonna let me shut this down one time. You know. And now I say it on the stage. Like they ain't gonna. You know. Maybe I won't. Fuck that. But. I, I already know what it is, you know, the, the possibility that I won't even be able to shut this down one time. And it won't be because I'm only able to shut it down one time. It's just they won't let me shut it down again. <laughs> so as far as the chat sketch comedy show goes, like I'm going to be recording audio sketches, you know, visual sketches. I'm going to be writing, you know, sketches. And that's going to be what my writing is is uh, focused on now is just writing sketches and skits and more like shorts and, and cinematic writing more so now that I, I've been doing five years of straight literary writing for cinematic purposes in the future. Now I'm writing something cinematic that I'm going to be responsible for putting on the screen and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But the books, I have no idea if I'll ever end up directing those into movies myself or on what whatever level of budget or I don't even give a fuck. It's whatever. It's that's it's a waste of time. I don't even But I'm really focused on, you know, the show and crafting it because it's my actual chance to to be involved in the industry, like on the forefront. And all the writing and the audio recording, it was just hidden in the background, no one knows about it. So by doing the videos now, I'm actually putting it out. And now it's like, yo, you have unlimited content, bro. You're gonna just be dropping shit, like whether you made new stuff or not, but you're still making new stuff. So you're just gonna have way more stuff to drop now and on top of like the hundreds of projects you're currently making, sitting on the thousands of projects you've made in the last decade, last half a decade of just audio. And then you start previewing all your writing and, and putting that into books or, or videos and shit. Like, it's just gonna be, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really excited, bro. Like, I dreamed about this moment, just being able to give it another shot, you know. That's my grandfather clocking. I swear about to enjoy the rest of the five hours of this creating process, so I'm gonna have to take the phone outside and let 
the Instagram videos I upload real quick, take them off of the phone, put them on the computer, so I can go back and start to edit all of the videos I made over the last two days, and any video footage I have um, from the Instagram folders from before I I started fully doing the Instagram videos, but when I started to realize I was going to take a crack at something I would call the Insta film, and I started to save my videos and folders, and and before I started doing this, like for real, for real, and you know, I gotta go back to those. I already just did and started making videos from those those first ones before I like really got on it and was like, yo, I'm gonna just pick one concept and just. And you know what I'm saying? Like I, I brew on shit for a little minute. Honestly, remember, remember, months ago before I left, I had mentioned um, creating a board game, a card game, and stuff. So last night I was recording. You know, yesterday I was recording audio uh, for this project called Dear High School. I'll be making a video about it. Right? I put this in a video or whatnot. Now, now in, in that one, I did two parts out of like three. I'm gonna do more parts, but I. Like it, like it was all for high school graduates, and it was weird because right after that, my friend Matt uh, Wade he called me and was like, "Yeah, I just left my brother's high school graduation." I'm, and that didn't even register. Like, damn, what are the odds? That you're like, come on, your intuition is just fucking on point. Like your shit is just you don't even know, you don't even be knowing this shit. So how'd you still do it? You didn't even know. You're doing some shit, dear high school graduate, motherfucker just had it. Your little brother got you high school while you were doing that shit. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> what I'm about to say is on audio and you're here in a video. Like, so I was talking about like the rules. Like, um, pick a company like this is a game. It's just a game. It's a game. Pick this type of company, you get this, you get points. You pick this. It was weird. Like, I'm going to play it. But I started to break it down. I was like, it's just a game. It's just a game. You get points if you do this. You do this, you get more points. You do this, you get more points. As I'm saying that, I start to realize, I'm like, bro, you are actually being flooded with the same, these rules and instructions that you are telling these high school graduates on how to set up all this investment shit. That's the fucking board game you were trying to do. Like, I was aware of it after a few seconds. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was like, I'm telling these niggas, but I'm like, hold up. What I'm telling these niggas is what I've been looking for. I'm like, yo, this is... So it's like, I'm telling these niggas, like, yo, it's just a game. You get points if you do this. You get more points if you do this. You get points if you do this. It's like, I'm giving them the point system based on, like, the standards. Like, yo, you get points if you find a company in an emerging industry. You get more points if you find the competitor in that industry. You get more points if you find the um, the same profit margin in the same industry. You get more points if you find the same profit margin in another industry. You find more points, you get more points if you find a competitor of that company in the next industry, you know? And, and as I was saying all that, it was like, oh my goodness, that's the freaking game. However, you, you figure it out whether it's a board game, card game, or a combination, but that shit is going to be wild. Like, because the way I had the way I had it set up, like if I set that up into a game, it's a universal timeless game because the way the instructions are set up, it's like I I'll explain it. It's like on the cards it would be instructions. Find this type of company. But it's not telling you the name of the company. There is no name of the company. It's no, that's not even the answer sheet. It's not like you flip it over and it's not. It's like it's something universal and timeless. It's just an instruction. Find a company that has this. Find a company that has that. Then you put an opposite player in front of you. That's your opponent. And you both are using your phones to research, to find those type, find companies that fit those criteria. And it, it's just this fun speed race game. And then if you, you're alone, I set it up to where you could be solitaire players with as well, right? Just, you know, and and my whole goal is just to make it as entertaining as possible. And once I get that done, by the time it's done, you won't even fucking realize that I just turned you into Warren Buffett. And now you need to go smack somebody. Yeah, remember that time I was like, I was going to create a board game and a card game, and then I just stopped talking about it, because it kind of just was like, 
I'm gonna have to let this go. I'm gonna have to throw this idea inside of a pink bubble and then just let the pink bubble float into the cosmos. Then about two months later, I'm like, it just comes out of nowhere and I'm like, oh shit, whoa. You know what I'm saying? And then I just got another idea. I was like, you know, um, not an idea that was just an acronym. It was like um, for, for, for kill. Acronym for kill. I was like, killing this shit, man. It's an acronym for kill. Um, damn, what was it? Hold on. Hold on. It was, I'm trying to remember what was the first one. Because I, I just switched it up. So I'm like, what was the first one I had? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It was like, it was like I was going to come up with an acronym for kill. But what I did was I, I switched it up. Like... Um, the K, instead of using the word kill for K, I used the word kick, but I switched. It was like, it was, it was the way the idea hit was like, I was like, I'm killing it. But I was like, you don't want to say kill, you got to come up with an acronym for it and make it sound sweeter, right? So I'm like, all right, so what's the acronym for kill? And I was like, you know, I came up with it, but the ones for the first two and then the second two. And then I just reversed them both. And then did it like that. And then I switched the word kill with kick. So it was like, because the word lick is in there. It was like, love lick was the last one. It was like, I'm, I'm killing them with, 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 oh, well, hold on. How was it? It was, um, hold on. It was intellect kick, love lick. Yeah, it was like, I'm killing these niggas with an intellect kick and love lick. Yeah, so, intellect. So like that's my philosophy right there. That's why like I was I was giving you all the acronym. That's my philosophy in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't about to fight you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Kick you with my intellect and lick you with my love, nigga. Like real shit. You about to get you fuck with me. You about to get the intellect kick love lick, nigga. Like real shit. I'm about to kill your ass with the intellect kick love lick, nigga. Kick him right in the head with some intellect and lick him. Right in the face with my love. Real shit. That sounds horrible. You want nothing to do with that. So back the fuck up. <laughs> I just hit my head. <laughs> yeah, so you know what we're about to do right now, right? You know. <laughs> the sun not even up, bitch. Mamba mentality. Real shit. Yeah, it sits in the morning, we're in the closet, sun's coming up, we just recorded 30 minutes of footage, we recorded at least like 30 minutes to an hour of footage yesterday, we're going to edit up all that footage, including this footage, immediately after we come back in, after recording some more audio, so we're going to wrap up, record some audio of, um, Something maybe related to what I was just filming now or last night and then boom get these videos done So we can start to render them go to work tonight market opens up Right before you go to work right when your rides pulling up the market be open you'll be working on your trades and um, And just watching that all night enjoying that and then you have to work for the rest of the next few days and stuff and just you know I just I don't know, I'm just chilling now. Good morning, everyone. 7:35 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, August 16th, 2020. Chad is in here. It's still recording on my phone. Stay in New York. We are in the closet. Never coming out. Now, we woke up today. Thank God. At 4.20 a.m. and we had planned to wake up at 4. We sat in the for 4 and, and at 2 a.m. So the 2 a.m. we didn't get up for that one. We didn't set up for 3. I think the 2 a.m. was still going on at 3. And then the 4 hit and then we were like, yo, it's the last one. We got to get up. So why would I stop? And, um, you know, so we, so we got up at 4.20 about an hour after that, 5 30, we were um, ready to, we were, you know, waking, baking, and, or probably done already, and recorded. 
one hour in, so right now it's 8.30, so that in itself was already three hours ago, two hours ago, you know, about 6 a.m. I started uh, filming on Instagram, and I took those files off the phone and put them on the laptop so they're ready to be edited. So everything I was filming yesterday, which was Saturday, and the day before Friday, I will be editing those, everything I, I filmed. This weekend, I'll be chopping it up now. I just want to get the last bit of creating done of, of this part of the production process. So what we're going to do right now is just record for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just record some ideas I have in my head of random sketch ideas. Like, because I'm figuring out how to just free my mind up about it by not having any thoughts that constrain the flow of creativity. So don't have any rules or any parameters set to the project that's going to constrain the creativity flow. First off, let's just get as many ideas flew out of here as possible first. And then from there, we'll sort everything out. You know what I'm saying? But for now, we need to unrestrict the unrestrained flow of the creativity to fill into the swamp. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a swamp of creativity. It's just a creative ass swamp. Like you're going to get swamped by creativity. You're going to get engulfed in this creativity. It's, it's quicksand. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Full of creativity. Like That's horrifying. And you don't know what's down there. You don't know what's down there. It's quicksand full of creativity. It's a volcano full of creativity. You know what I'm saying? It's lava full of creativity. You know, just everything is just the the intensity of it, but it is in creativity. It's expressing creativity. You know what I'm saying? But like, if, if lava hits your head, whatever it would do to your head, that's what the creative lava would do. You know, like, like that's the intensity of what the creative lava would do. You know what I'm saying? It would do that much, but in creativity, you know what I'm saying, like, that would just be so much, you would turn into a fucking superhero, if you had, like, creative lava put all over you, you would just, what, you just, last thing you hear is you'd just be screaming, and then you just fall, and then you come back as, like, a superhero, it's just crazy, so, we're gonna do that, but I'm gonna use that particular idea for clever land, that, that was a brand new idea, I just kind of flew in right there as I'm talking, and I'm starting to realize that the universe is doing that more for me now, within the last few days, like just this weekend, because of just last night, what happened, like, the universe is giving me some serious creative downloads, because they see I'm super serious about this, you know what I'm saying, they see it, I'm very serious about this, like, Chad is the first pick for the creative ideas from the universe, they're going to send me these ideas first, because I'm out here, I'm the only one that's like this focused on it, bro. Like, I don't do anything else, and I, I get, I feel some kind of way about that sometimes, but I just laugh at it and keep it moving. You know, I know what's up, that's just the human side of it. <laughs> that's all, that's my human side. It comes out to myself. I just be like, damn, I'm doing a lot of fucking work. But, Motherfuckers think I'm playing anyway, and I'm not even playing right now, like, it's just crazy. So, so, it's almost like I'm not even working, so if I stop working, then it's just like I'm playing like they think I am. So, I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, when I'm not at work, I have to use my spare time to reverse rest, you know? But after I have that amount of rest, you know what I'm saying? Like, after I have that amount of rest or whatever, or even before that, I'll push myself and just go go in, and then I'll get exhausted. Then I'll go to sleep, probably get some rest. Then, then I'm back, you know, to just creating more, right? And that's just the goal, just back and forth. It's just nothing else matters but using this time, this precious time, to get as much of this stuff done, you know what I'm saying, one day I, you know, I'll pass away, and all I, you know, in essence, all I'll be able to do is sleep, as far as, like, my body, <laughs> my body will be sleep forever, you know, this body is a vessel, it'll run out of fuel one day, you know what I'm saying, 
shiver running out of fuel. And this this vessel runs off the electricity, you know what I'm saying? So I do need to recharge it. But after that, you know what I'm saying? Like this vessel is surging with electricity for a certain amount of time. Just surging with energy right now. My whole vessel surging with energy. So let's get into these sketches. We're gonna do some some sketches. So here's the first one. That was the introduction. Welcome. Here's the first one. You get into a car. And the driver is a taxi car Uber type shit. Right? You get into the car. The driver is a robot. Right? And it's three scenarios. The driver is a robot. The driver is a cyborg. And the driver is like, um, what else? Yeah, cyborg and just the whole android. There we go. Android, robot, cyborg, cyborg like those three scenarios, right? You get into those three ones, right? And the motherfucker, the driver, right? Pulls off, locks the doors, can't get out. Boom, boom, boom. Now. <laughs> Don't get nervous. <laughs> if you in the car with a robot and that nigga lock the doors, <laughs> even though that's what robots do, right? That's what he say when you like when you like the doors. That's what robots do, he says, right? <laughs> 